Hello everyone and welcome back to Stestix Fix. In this video today I'm going to take a look at this SMD soldering practice kit which I purchased off eBay. So before I start, massive thanks to my boy Joey from Joey Does Tech for recommending this. He recently did this on one of his live streams. If you've not checked him out before, please do so. And he made it look very easy. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a go. I've obviously done some soldering in the past. I'm not an expert, far from it, uh, but I thought I might try different ways of soldering. I thought I might use the soldering iron, I thought I might also try the hot air station, and I've also got some solder paste which I've never used. I'm thinking this might be a good opportunity to try that out as well. It also gives me an excuse to try out some of the toys that I got for Christmas. Now this is a Hakko micro soldering pencil, I think they call it, and I've got a little tip for it which is one of the J tips which I've never used uh, so that will be interesting and I also got this circuit board holder which again I've never used and it looks like it will be perfect for this little circuit board. I will also be timing it because I'm curious to see how long it takes me to do so I will leave that running in the corner somewhere maybe there Anyway, without any further ado, let's get set up and let's get cracking with the nutting. Right, here goes. Wish me luck. I'm going to start in the top left hand corner and I'm going to start with just the soldering iron. I'm just going to put solder on one of the sides. And that's upside down, but it doesn't matter, but I'm going to turn it around anyway. Okay, there's one side done. Yeah, well, that'll do. It's on, I think. Right, for this one, um, should I do it the same way or shall I try? Let's try putting solder on both pads. I've also not used any flux on this one. I guess the problem is it's going to ride up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with doing it like that. It's riding up on one side now. There we go. Okay, well... The first one was definitely better. I'm going to do a few with hot air, I think. Let's try this one with hot air. I'm just going to tin the pad up first. And hot air is set to 300 degrees. I've got my airflow 
nice. Yeah, it, it's much easier with the hot air. Certainly for me, anyway. But I suppose just because it's easier doesn't mean it's the right way to do it. So I should probably practice more of the stuff I'm not not so comfortable with. So let's go back to soldering with the soldering iron. I'm a bit worried about the smaller ones because I seem to be struggling with these. These are small enough. Probably a bit too much on that one, but hey ho. Right, that's the first row all done. Just temporarily stop the timer. So that took me just over 12 minutes, which I think is the 12. Oh, there is 12. So that was a minute for each one. Now, I don't know if that's that's good or not. Um, it's probably not. But, you know, I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. That one doesn't look great. Anyway, I think they're all making a connection. So... Right, let's move on to the 0805 components. So we've got... Uh, what have we got here? 0805 resistors and... 0805 capacitors. Let's start with the capacitors. Right, I'm going to try and whiz through this one. So I'm going to... I'm just going to tin up the pads all of the pads and I'm going to use hot air and just try and see how quickly I can get them all on. Okay, right. Let's get some hot air going. put my temperature up to 320. It was taking a little bit of time. Right, that's done. Wow. Well, for me, that was much easier and much quicker. Let's stop the watch there. So 16 minutes 30, we were on 12, so that took me six and a half minutes. It's almost twice as quick, that. And I think they look pretty good. Yeah, happy with those. Right, I think for this next row I'm going to try solder paste because I've never tried it before. I don't really know what to do, so I'm just going to do these one at a time. I'm certainly going to start just by doing one. Right, there we go. Um, oh, start the timer again, sorry. Right, let's pop that on. Looks like a lot that doesn't it? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. 
Oh, oh, where's it going? Okay, wow. Well, it's turned to solder, but it's gone to the pad next to it. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm sure there is a place for solder paste, but I don't really know how to use it. Maybe I should uh, I should look that up before <laughs> before I try any more. Let's just see if I can tidy this up. Okay, well let's uh, let's just do it do it the old-fashioned way. Pop these ones on with hot air, I think. Oh, I'm done. I've got two left, didn't realise. Right, let's stop that there. And again, that's... Um, what's that? That's another six minutes, is it? Another six and a half minutes, so very, very similar to the last lot. So it does look like, for me, hot air is twice as quick as soldering with a soldering iron. Uh, though I'm not quite as happy with those. I've got some big blobs going on, and I don't know whether the solder paste had something to do with that. Right, well, that's that's that first side done. Let's just give that a clean. Just see what we're what we're left with. Okay, so the first row was done with the soldering iron. Mm, R5 doesn't look great. I think overall they're not too bad. The second row was done with the hot air only. Uh, those are good. I'm happy with those. C12 might do with a little bit more solder on. but And then this was a mixture. I did solder paste but I didn't really like it. Um, and then hot air. These aren't quite as good. I don't know whether the solder paste. It seemed to spread all over the board. Yeah, they look weird. Those what those first couple of solder paste. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that. But having said that, they're all on, and they should be doing what they're supposed to be doing. So let's move over to the other side, and then we've got some more. We've got some 0603, so we're getting even smaller now. And then finally some 0402s at the end. Now I think I might do... What shall I do? I think I'll do the first row of 0603s with the soldering iron. And then I'll do the second row with the hot air. And I think 0402. I'll try a mixture of both on that as well. One thing I will say at this point is... It, it's hard to gauge from the TV screen how small these components are. And I've got to take my hat off to Joey from Joey Does Tech because he did this without a microscope and these things are absolutely tiny and I'm not even on the 0402 ones yet so yeah fair play mate I think that might have been even quicker um, but anyway they're not as good I don't think they look like they're on I've got some big blobs going on though Yeah, there's definitely some big blobs, but I think they're all making a connection. Let's try these ones. Okay, so we're at 2718. Let's see how long it takes us to do these ones.
Okay, now we're up to 33 minutes 45. Um, again, they're, they're okay. Some of them are better than others. But I think, pretty sure they're all on and they're all making a connection. So, reasonably happy with that. Alright, now it's time for the 0402s, the really, really small ones. That's one on the end of my finger. Right there. Yes, that is a resistor. Wow. Okay, I'm definitely using hot air for this one because I can't see how I can solder these on one at a time. But you know what, I'm going to try. I'm going to try one because Joey did it. Without a microscope as well, I might add. Okay, we got the thing the right way up. Good grief. Okay, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. I think I might do one more with the soldering iron, and I think I might just blast through him with the with the hot air. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now I'm going to tin up the rest of the pads, I think, and do them with with the hot air. See how they go on. Okay, so let's start with these 0603. Yeah, some of them have got big blobs on them. But I think they're all making a connection. And the capacitors. And they look a little bit tidy. That one's got a big blob on it. Again, I think they're all on. And then these little grain of salt ones. <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm really happy with those. Yeah, yeah, they're good. And the first two, those first two, I did with the soldering irons. I'm quite pleased with that. The rest were done with the hot air station. And yeah, they all look pretty good. Right. So that's all the outside done. Let's uh, Now it's time for the fun bit, I think. Right, I think I'm going to do the LEDs last because they're very sensitive to heat. So I'm going to have to do them with the soldering iron. But I think everything else I can do with the hot air. So I'll probably start... Let's start with the resistors. R48 and R61 to R64. Now I don't know whether these have got... Oh, sh**. <laughs> I think I've lost one. <laughs> I've lost one before I've started. How good is that? No, found it. There it is. <laughs> Alright, so R48. Let's find that. Right, R61 to R64.
Okay, that's those done. Right, and now we've got some different resistors for R50 to R60 and R65 to R68. So let's try those ones. Okay, I'm going to do the capacitors C27 and C28 next because I can see C27 right there. It looks like C28 is right below it, so I'm going to rotate that. Where is it? There it is. Okay, now I have four diodes, D12 to D15. I think that's right. Okay, now I've got four transistors, Q1 to Q4. Okay, next we've got NA ruler, what's that? NE555 timer U1 and deck 4017 decade counter U2. I'm gonna do these both at the same time, I think. These are the two main chips. Okay, once again I'm gonna use hot air. Get it roughly in position and hopefully surface tension will pull it in. Right, I think that's on okay, but I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to just tap each of the legs just to make sure right, I think we're okay yeah happy with that solid right I'm really annoyed I've just taken this out of the packet I don't know whether I did it or whether it was already like that, but one of the legs is bent. See the one at the bottom left there? So I can get a better angle. There. Leg is bent. Let's see if I can bend it back. Mm, it's not perfect, but it's bent back a bit. So we'll, we'll go with that. Let's just put some solder on these pads. Right, let's go with that. Yep, yeah, they're all good. Alright, now it's time for the LEDs. Now I remember this from the one Joey did. We've got D1 to D10 and D16 to D19. But there's a D11 on this board. Right there. So, <laughs> can't remember what he did. I think he put one on. I mean, it, it, it's got to have one on, otherwise the circuit's not going to be complete, is it? I think I shall start over here.
if I remember rightly. Yeah, the T, the bottom of the T points to negative. And the negative on these boxes has a slightly thicker band on it. So let's do that. I feel like I'm getting better at this now, <laughs> but I am coming towards the end, so you'd think I would be, wouldn't you? Plenty of practice. Spoke too soon, didn't I, about getting better at it. <laughs> that one was terrible. Right, let's do this D11 even though it's not in the instructions. But I still have three LEDs left, so... Must be. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try this last one. I'm not going to put any solder on. I'm probably going to find out that this is easier, and then I'm going to be really annoyed. No, it's not easier. Right, there we go. Let's stop that time there. One hour, 38 minutes and 34 seconds. I I've lost I've lost track. I don't know how long it took me to do those, um, but that's quite a long time, and it might not even work. Uh, I've got two LEDs left over. I've got quite a few other bits left over, but I'm guessing they put spares in. Oh, hang on, I'm missing one there. Ooh, that was lucky. D1, right. Start the timer again. <laughs> Now stop the timer. 1 hour 40 and 23 seconds. All right, I'm just going to give the board a, a clean and then I'll give it a, a once over. And just see if, you know, maybe I've knocked something off while I was using the hot air. It doesn't look like it. Right, I'm happy with that. Let's take it out of its clamp. And there it is in all its glory. Like I say, under the microscope, it looks it looks easy, but you can see how small that is. No, it's it's they're tiny. They're absolutely tiny. But now, it's the moment of truth. So from what I understand, this takes um, between four and twelve volts. So I'm going to set. Well, it's on five volts now. I'm just going to leave it at that and see if that works. So let's connect negative to negative. 
And positive to positive. Let's turn these lights off. And stand well back. Well, well it's not doing anything. Oh! Oh yes! Oh, you beauty! I think that's what it's supposed to do, Joey. That's amazing. Well, it's not amazing. It's, uh, it's quite primitive, really. But oh, I'm so happy with that. That's brilliant. Is everything working? Yeah, all the LEDs are lighting up. Not sure why I'm getting so excited about a rotating wheel of LEDs, but there's just something about, you know, I've put this thing together and the fact that it's working is just amazing. I, I didn't think it would be, so I'm really happy with that. So we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. I'll leave you with the wonderful sight of the rotating wheel. Ooh. Ah. Eee. Ooh.